Hi everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Vidur, and I lead the technical discussions for MIST AID portfolio for India and SAR countries. And I just wanted to create a quick video for all of you to uh, let you know on how to create and manage alerts from the MIST dashboard. Okay, so let's quickly go on to the MIST dashboard. This is how the home screen looks like, as we all know. Uh, in the monitor tab, under monitor, we click on alerts. Let me zoom in so that you're able to see it properly. Right here at the top, I click on alerts and I get to the next page. So this page gives me some information around what kind of alerts there can be. I can select it for the last seven days and I can just see of any type of alerts that I wanna see. It will take some seconds to populate. There you go. Uh, this gives me uh, around 312 alerts, 304 are critical. One is a warning alert, seven are information alerts, right? So if I wanna see only the warning alerts, I can uncheck the other ones. I can click on it once and it's gonna disappear. I can click on the information one and it's gonna disappear. Or if I wanna see warning and information, I can click on information once again. So the, so the ones highlighted will be the ones displayed here. Okay, so this is the screen where I'm able to see what the alerts are getting generated on my MIST dashboard. The next thing I wanna do is I want to configure some alerts for my network. Let me click on alert configuration right at the top, right hand side. I click on that, takes me to the next page. Now I reach a place where I'm able to see all sorts of alerts which I can configure and not just enable the alerts. So I see two columns here, right? I see enable alert column and I see the send email notification column. So if I enable these alerts here, which means they will be populated in the previous page that we saw, okay? If I enable them here, I can go all the way here again and I can see all these alerts are getting populated. Now there's another thing we can do. I can also make sure I'm able to configure email notifications for all the alerts. Now, if I enable the email notifications for them one by one, which means whenever these alerts are generated, I will get an email. I will get an email from the NIST uh, website saying, you know, this this alert has been generated for your particular org. Now I can choose to send the alerts on this email address. I can choose to send the email on, you know, to all the site, all the org admins. I can send it to all the site admins. I can choose and mix and match. I can select multiple email addresses here, whatever I want to do, and I should be good. So the alerts will be sent all the way to these email addresses as per my need. Now, uh, one more thing that I, that I think we can do is we can also create and just keep it to default. I wanna create one more template for myself. Let's say I want to uh, have some sort of alertings for one site and then I wanna have different alerts configured for the other site, okay? So I'll click on create a template here. I'll give it with or underscore test underscore alerts and I click on yeah there you go so I can now enable whatever alerts I want to enable for my uh, under this template uh, let, let's say I just want to enable the Marvis alerts I want to keep these alerts enabled and I also want to make sure I send email notifications to myself for all these alerts that I've enabled, okay? I can send I can send it to the site admins. I can assign this template to, this is the scope of the template. I can assign it to only one site that I wanna assign it to, my Wither Home org or Wither Home site, and I click on create. Or oh, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. I can click on save. Now it's gonna take a second to get saved, it did. So now this particular template that I've created is assigned only for Vidur Ho Vidur's home site and it will send these kind of alerts to my email and also these kind of alerts will be generated. I can assign this other template that is created by default. I can assign it to the other one. I can assign it to uh, a test site that I have and click on save. So the different types of alerts that we have, let's go through that as well. We have uh, in the infrastructure column, uh, infra part, we have the ARP failure, DSCP failure, and all sorts of alerts here. Under Marvis, we have 
the uh, AP alerts, we have the connectivity alerts, we have the van edge alerts, we have the switch alerts, we have the security alerts, we have, I'm sorry, uh, security is a separate, uh, separate section altogether. So under Marvis, we only had to switch. Now we have under security, we have all different kinds types of alerts for rogue detection, rips and vids that you can anyway go through and that's it. So we, we, we have the flexibility to pretty much configure all these alerts that we want for our site and for our orgs and also define different email addresses to which we want to send the alert to. And I think that should, that should be very feasible for all of us to configure. I mean, it's not that difficult. You just need to come here, uh, go in the alert section. Once again, view whatever kind of alerts you want to see for the last seven days, 24 hours, one minute, one hour. Uh, and then, you know, just do, do a con uh, alert configuration and you're in this page to do the configuration. Right. I think, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. I think this is, this is what I wanted to cover in this small video. I uh, hope you found this useful and yeah. Thank you so much for watching guys. You have a wonderful day ahead.